poly olefin. What kind of plastics are poly olefin? So I thought I was going to be into a little bit of a dilemma here today. <clears throat> um, because my regular Bulldog adhesion promoter is not available. I can't get it till tomorrow. <clears throat> so I called a couple parts suppliers and I'm like, hey, I need some freaking adhesion promoter. Called Advanced Auto Parts and they're like, hey, uh, Rust-Oleum makes some and it's made for polyolefin plastics. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, what, what kind of bumpers are on these Fords? What kind of bumpers? What kind of plastic do they use on these bumpers? And this is raw plastic. This is a Ford um, raw plastic cover uh, for this 2021 Interceptor. But I was like, <clears throat> I usually don't get them in raw rubber, but I was able to get a deal on a bunch of them surplus. So I'm doing two of them. I'm doing one on this 21, and I'm doing one on this 17. So I'm like, well, what kind of plastics do we have here? So I figured, why not? I can make you guys a little video. Let me find a pair of needle nose pliers. So we're gonna make a little video. Those will work. So they say these poly olefin plastics will float. So <clears throat> I grabbed a few different little chunks of plastics. So we got a Ford bumper, BMW bumper, piece of a Ford headlamp, part of an oil bottle cap, and part of a uh, Chevy Silverado bumper end cap. So we're going to start, so if these float, they're a polyolefin, and the Bulldog adhesion promoter will be good for it, and even the Rust-Oleum will be good for making paint stick to these plastics. So let's see if this floats. We'll dip it in there a little bit. So that's a floater. Ford bumper cover. BMW bumper cover. It's a floater. Part of a Ford headlamp. that one went to the bottom so that's not a poly olefin part so this is part of a cap off of an oil bottle Not sticking to the side over here, but it looks like it's a floater. And then we got the rear end cap off of a 21 Silverado rear bumper end cap. Well, what did we learn today? We learned that you cannot use adhesion promoter to make paint stick on part of a Ford headlamp. That's what we learned today. <laughs> Son of a bitch, and I even freaking printed this sheet off here. If it floats, it's an olefin. TPO, TEO, PP, or EPDM plastic. This covers 80% of the bumper covers you will repair. Another 15% are a urethane um, bumper cover that would be on like a big Lincoln or Caddy Hearst. Um, that's probably a urethane. Cut a sliver, drop it in water, and it sank like a rock. So urethane will sink. So this adhesion promoter will not work with a urethane. And then they say here, in 4% of that is going to be in, however you say that, X-E-N-O-Y, 
or a polycarbonate, which you can find on some Mercedes and older Ford products. It's very rigid and doesn't float, but it does melt with an airless welder. There you go. Some bitch. We learned something. Awesome.